we had a little bit of an identity crisis. No. Brands, please talk to the tall girls. Like, why, Maybelline, did you have to do this to me? If you're new here and you haven't met Luna, this is Luna, she's not very nice. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today's the start of another vlog. Don't mind the hair, I tried to crimp it this morning. Crimped it for a video and then it fell, of course. Um, my hair does not hold anything, literally, literally nothing. But I like it, so it is what it is. Anyway, so I am in the middle of redesigning my website currently. We had a little bit of an identity crisis, no, not really, but I decided for the new year, 2021, going strong, you know, not gonna claim that this year is gonna be my year, definitely not gonna do that, so universe I'm not claiming anything okay I'm not I'm not doing it but I am in the process of filming multiple videos this week as well as working on my freelance job lots of new life updates lots of stuff going on I wanted to share that with you first of all number one I got a new computer yay so editing is gonna be so much easier now but I ultimately decided this is something that I've been saving up for for over a year this is a long time coming sold my other MacBook back to Apple and they actually increased the value of it after I after they initially quoted me a price so that never happened Happens, but yeah, Apple trade in, go check it out. I made a video about it right there. So yeah, there's that. Um, <laughs> that's what's happening there. I'm really excited about it. Edit it. It has an Intel Core i9, a i9. Okay. Never had an i9 in my life and it edits so so fast but I ultimately bought this computer because I'm transitioning from undergraduate college to working professional so because I have a freelance gig I felt like I needed to go ahead and upgrade um, I was gonna wait until after graduation but I was like you know what early graduation present let's just bite the bullet and do it so and Apple was offering a really good deal on it too plus I had gift cards so yay that's that that was like my Christmas present to myself moving into the new year though I'm really excited there's gonna be a lot of changes happening I'm gonna film a 2021 goals video we're going into 2021 tackling YouTube strategy and really just going all out. So really exciting stuff there. But yeah, so that's kind of what's happening. Redesigning my website, putting all my schoolwork on it and stuff I've done designed for my internships and stuff like that. I'm really happy with how it's going so far. I still have a lot more content to add to it, but it's a lot of fun. So that's what we're currently doing, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a lunch break because it is 1.17 p.m. So I'm gonna switch you guys over to my small tripod and go into the kitchen and get some chili that I made yesterday. I actually posted on Instagram. So if you wanna go check it out, follow me on Instagram and let's go get some chili. We're in the kitchen getting what we need. I'm gonna get a tray. I've been on a, an Originals marathon lately. I don't know why. I, honestly, okay, so anyone who watches the Originals or the Vampire Diaries, if you know, you know. So, dare I even say that I think the Originals is better than, is better than the Vampire Diaries. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree or disagree because I really, honestly, after watching it, I'm like, this is more wholesome than the Vampire Diaries and I appreciate that. This, my friends, is a vibe. Well, I must say, I put my hair up because I was eating, but I must say, I outdid myself on that chili because that was some bomb chili. Like, wow. I impressed even myself. Who knew that I was such a chef? You know, gotta hype myself up when I just bought an Instapot and air fryer. If you watched my reel, I recycle. I post reels and TikToks on the corresponding platforms because why not, right? So I'm very excited for the rest of today because I actually need to go to the store and you go buy some new foundation. Well, not new foundation. I'm running out. So the foundation I currently use, they changed the bottle in like the spring. Now I can't unscrew the top to get the rest of the product out. So I'm really kind of upset about that. It's the foundation I've been using for years. So I'm not gonna like change now because why would I, right? So yeah, I need to go and buy that because well, I just do. But also, I need to change the light bulbs in my bathroom because I was getting ready to buy some stick-on lights for my mirror right here off Amazon. And then I was like, you know what? Why don't I just change the bathroom lights? So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna change the bathroom lights. I have on my dad's hardware store list to go get some more LEDs because I want to put LEDs in my room and then LEDs in my bathroom because they let off more light and they last apparently forever. We just had LEDs installed in our kitchen. They're really nice. And the difference in lighting is like 
so good. Like even just one bulb was such a difference. Also, I am like really liking these like plaid shirts lately and they're really long and like long shirts go a long way with me because so many times brands do not care about the tall girls that are out there. They only care about the size two, five foot eight models. I'm like, I'm not five eight, I'm not a size two. So quit. Your consumer, like brands, please talk to the tall girls. Like include us too, you know, just saying. I doubt any brand is actually watching this, but you know, just saying, include the tall girls for once. Like mini rant is over. Target actually has done pretty good with that. So thank you Target if you're watching. I'll link the recipe to my chili down below too, so that if you guys wanna make it in the Instapot, you can. I highly recommend an Instapot and air fryer. Best purchases of my adult life so far. <laughs> okay, I switched over to a different tripod. I have like tripods on top of tripods over here. I recently found out the little tripod I bought last year, the one I have on now, is actually a good car tripod. So, cause I tried the whole car suction cup tripod and let me tell you, I don't like it. I don't like the fact that my camera is upside down. <laughs> it freaks me out and I really do not want this camera to fall should I make a sharp right turn. <laughs> so this is where we're struggling here. This bottle, okay, there's plenty of product left in there, but they redesigned their bottles in the spring and that makes it, they com completely makes it so much more difficult to open and actually get the product out or I'm just weak, one of those two, but I'm just like, I don't wanna have to buy more, but there's like plenty of product left in here for me to use. And I don't need to go out and buy another one because there's plenty of product left. And I don't want to throw out this bottle until I'm 100% sure that there's no product left. But I am just such a weakling that I cannot figure it out. <laughs> it's really frustrating. Why, Maybelline, did you have to do this to me? Like, so I got this rubber thing to try and get it off. I don't understand why they make this so difficult. I mean, is it to really make us buy, have to buy more product? I mean, because if that's, I'm not happy right now. The old bottles were not like this. I want the old bottles back. Maybelline, if you're watching, I want the old bottles back. This is so not cool to do to your customers. All right, well, I'm not giving up just yet, but I am gonna go to YouTube. What is this lighting? Excuse me, how dare you? Fix yourself. I look like a ghost. <laughs> we gotta do what we gotta do. So instead of what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check YouTube and see if there's a video on how to unscrew. Unscrew. Maybelline, <laughs> let's, let's just see. Makeup product hack, how to open a foundation bottle. So apparently I should be using a knife or a pair of scissors. <sighs> so update, one of them has been opened, but I'm gonna try to get the other one. So we'll see how this goes. Well, the knife trick worked. So this is what it looks like now. So we were able to get this off. Now we're good. Now we can continue on with life. Which also means I don't have to buy foundation now for a while, which makes me very happy. So now I'm going to go back, you guys cannot see me, going to go back to the kitchen and clean this knife because it got foundation all over it. So we're gonna clean it up with some Dawn. And then now I don't have to go to Target, yay. Okay, so that makes me happy. Well, that honestly makes me really happy. And I'm really actually relieved that I do not have to go out and buy another bottle of foundation because my foundation usually lasts me at least two months. So that's like five bucks a month. So, oh, but something we are gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and switch you guys over to a different tripod because we're gonna try to change one of the bulbs. We only have two bulbs in here that are LED, but even one makes a huge difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that real quick. And then we can get back to my website. Hello. Now that is good lighting. <laughs> the only caveat to opening these in the way that I did is they said that you should put them in a Ziploc bag too so that they don't dry out, which is actually fine with me. I'm not used to 
using a tripod like this when I vlog, but I kind of like it better. I feel like this is how the pros do it. So, new videos that are coming soon on my channel. UF's reopening plan for spring 2021, as well as a how to customize your MacBook Pro video. And this isn't gonna be like all the other people who have done this video. This is gonna be like practical, like actually stuff you need to know, not just making it pretty. Cause like personally, I'm not gonna go through and like change all my icons to be different. I just feel like that's a little bit much for me. I don't mind the regular Mac folder icons. I mean, I know they're boring, but like, I don't really care about that. This is like practical stuff that you can actually use in your everyday life. So I've never really been one for like wallpaper customization either because I've always had an issue where I would log into my computer and then the wallpaper would be gone. And I'm like, what's the point of changing it if it keeps disappearing every time I log in? But apparently there's a method to making that not happen. So I don't know. I use Squarespace in case you didn't know. I actually switched over to Squarespace in the fall. Oh, December of last year actually. So a year of having Squarespace. It's definitely more costly per month to pay for this but I actually prefer paying monthly over yearly because then I'm able to allocate my funds in the way that I need to for that so that makes me happy I'll show you guys kind of what my new website looks like I'm really happy with it I don't know just I kind of removed the stuff that, that I didn't really think should be on there and just kind of put the stuff that should be on there so more YouTube based like graphic design work and like some stuff I've done for like other accounts I've managed and stuff like that. But Uno Memento. So I wanted to bring a little friend to the vlog. She does not, she, I, she was napping. I picked her up and brought her back here. If you're new here and you haven't met Luna, this is Luna. She's not very nice. She's a Siamese American short hair and she's got a lot of sass. Ow, that's a claw. I just wanted something that was what I felt the vibe to be going into 2021 so i have my spotify gra i just made it more like an extension of my resume or cover letter so it still has some personality to it like on the home page there's a picture of me but i'm someone who doesn't actually like to be t in pictures <laughs> i just don't i never have there's still a lot more to add to it so that's that luna is gonna sit on my bed oh yeah so i think i'm gonna go ahead and just work on this i'm probably gonna turn on the originals and eat some chocolate because i did have a kind of want another bowl of chili but I'm gonna wait until my dad gets home so I can eat a bowl with him and I will have a LaCroix that's what I'll do I just wanted to end the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this little dig in my life it was kind of productive but also that slump in between Christmas and New Year's it is what it is. So don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. I post new videos every week. Hopefully at one point I will be able to post two new videos a week, but that's gonna have to, where are you going? That's gonna have to probably wait until I graduate from school because I'm a busy girl and it's really impossible for me to do two videos a week while also filming content that I'm actually like interested in because I feel like, I don't think I've outgrown like the college content, but I think I'm getting a little old for that. <laughs> I mean, I'm about to graduate from college how many more college tip videos can I film? If we're being real here. But yeah, I mean, if I go in, if I go into grad school, maybe I would love to be able to film a grad school acceptance video. That would be, uh, that would be something. Anyway, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and comment down below what other videos you want to see, whether UF, college, or just life related in general. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.